Thank you for clicking on the video. Check this article out. Pope Francis literally says we need a world government to rule the U.S. for our own good. It says this in the article. Pope Francis told the Italian newspaper La Repubblica that the United States of America has a distorted vision of the world and Americans must be ruled by a world government as soon as possible for their own good. If you read on in the article, you'll find that he is demanding all this because of his concern for our so-called faulty immigration status. Yes, that's just his excuse to start talking points, but besides the prophetic implications, of which I'll get into in a moment, he currently wants an influx of Roman Catholics from Mexico, and as he stated in writing more than a few times, he also wants his brothers and sisters in the Islamic faith to funnel into the USA in large numbers. And as students of prophecy, we know the end result of his agenda here, but for now he needs to force America to open the border so as to bolster his voting bloc in his favor by a landslide so as to use the second beast, which is the USA, as prophecy stated he would in these last days, to use the power of the USA to enforce his very soon coming mark. Now, at present, the USA won't bow to such demands as it would be political suicide to do so. But our leaders will definitely do so the moment it becomes politically and financially beneficial to do so. And since it is prophesied in Revelation 13 verses 11 and 12 that the second beast eventually does strengthen the religious powers of the first beast, which is, of course, the Vatican, this increase in Rome's so-called religious power will be granted on two planes due to, number one, the church and state conglomeration already set up in the USA under the long prophesied 501c3 contract that every single lukewarm church leader in this nation has signed on to over the decades, and number two, the influx of Roman Catholic politicians and military leaders who at present have power to force every nation on earth to bow to the political demands of the Pope. Now do you see why Ronald Reagan's White House staff member stated as he did when he was asked why we need an ambassador to the Vatican years ago? He said, and I quote, it would allow the USA to influence the political decisions of the Roman Catholic Church. And because they have had decades now to twist reality in modern society, most now agree with the Pope when he stated years ago that he was the world's moral authority. That's right, the man that protects pedophiles and whose long prophesied office has killed hundreds of millions of Christians for their faith is now seen as the moral authority on earth during these last days. And just to lock this all down on three avenues of control, this is also why Fox News recently called for a global ruler back in April of 2015. And so, as we can see, Everyone in the media, everyone in politics, and all the church leaders are playing their part for the man of sin in Rome to assure the prophecy will soon be fulfilled regarding the one world government and the mark of the beast. Now, for those of you that don't believe Christian prophecy holds any credence whatsoever in modern society, even though everything that was prophesied has been fulfilled exactly as the Bible predicted, since you don't believe Christian prophecy, I will now share some statements made by the Pope's and prelates of Rome over the years that confirm this has been their plan all along, and so this will happen just as the prophecy predicted it will. Thank you for watching. God bless.